Johnny and I have been each other's accountability buddies over the last decade. And it, it goes beyond just losing weight, right? There was some partying going on where we both said, <laughs> hey, it's time to get it together. We got to focus on growing the company, setting goals personally, professionally. And here's the thing that's so amazing about being someone else's accountability buddy, right? As Johnny was talking about, I'm telling Johnny I want to lose weight. Johnny's my accountability buddy. Well, now he's feeling a little bit of pressure of, whoa, AJ's actually losing the weight. Yeah. I got to hop on board. Yep. Our good buddy Till recently gave up sugar. Yep. And I remember he had mentioned it in passing and I wasn't really thinking about it. And then we're out for dessert and I'm ready to pass the dessert. <laughs> and I go, oh, he's giving up sugar, right? Yeah. So accountability buddy AJ steps in and goes, no, okay, he doesn't want any pie. And then I ended up eating less pie. Yeah. Right? So when we talk about accountability, lead from the seat you're in, yes. taking that personal responsibility, that's rung one. Rung two is, okay, telling someone else, being vulnerable, saying, hey, I need a little help getting to this goal. And here's the thing. You're going to find people who are going to laugh and are going to say, why do you need that? You look fine. You don't. And they, and they don't get it. But if you're not going to lead by yourself and you're not going to put yourself out there, you're not going to be able to bring in other people who are on that train. And that's what I was getting at, the third rung of this accountability, right? Once you realize I take your responsibility and, in fact, I know the power of this cheat code, I'm recruiting some people to yeah. help me, then you look for opportunities to be accountable to others and help other people reach their goals. And I feel honored when people look up to me to be that accountability buddy, whether it's Till trying to avoid sugar, whether it's the guys in boot camp saying, hey, I want to get better at this. That puts an added pressure on me. Okay, step it up. Hit the gym. Get in front of the room. Own it. So that's how we motivate ourselves. And a lot of people come in and ask us, how, how are you not only teaching this, but doing it, but living it? How do you reach all these goals? Well, it's not alone. No. It's not alone. We did a deep dive into this episode 697 and on about what it means to be high value. High value people hold themselves accountable, look to bring other people in to support that accountability, and then go to that third level of what can I do to the people around me to help them reach their goals, to help them be accountable to themselves and what they're personally after. And that's what makes it so awesome when we talk about being a good accountability buddy, well, being supportive. Right. And there are people in our lives. There were people in the company in the past that I would not have trusted to be my accountability buddy no. because they didn't have the tools to support you when you fell off track. It's Absolutely. easy to bark at someone and be like, till drop the pie. You shouldn't be eating that. It's a lot more difficult to be a supportive accountability buddy who says it's OK till tomorrow's a new day. Don't worry about that piece of pie you just well ate.